How's it going? It's Kyle here from KJD Photography. I hope you're all doing well. So I did a shoot about, I think it was about a week ago with a model. Um, and it was one of the images that um, that sort of sparked some interest for some people. They just uh, sent some messages through and stuff like that. So um, I just wanted to sort of break it down very simply because there's not really much to sort of tell on it but um, let me bring the image across so this is the actual image um, literally we sort of went for that sort of rebel female type look um, I was in two minds of maybe incorporating like a terminator feel to this sort of she's got that sort of Sarah Connor sort of uh, look and um, but I went for something just quite simple, straightforward. So the lights I actually used on on the shot was I used two AD 300 Pros, uh, one as the key light, one as a background light. I also used the 110 um, centimeter reflector. So the reflector was off to camera right, sort of uh, right about probably a 45 degree angle that way and a 45 degree angle up um, just making sure it actually misses any reflection within the sunglasses because it's quite a large reflector so it can actually play havoc in reflection on glasses and everything else there so we, we managed to keep that out of the glasses um, the key light of the model was just off center as you can see it's almost like a, a butterfly type of setup with the shadow under the nose um, type of look so it's almost like a movie Hollywood Paramount whatever style that they, they want to call it but it's close to close to a butterfly sort of look there and then I had another light that was actually behind the model that was sort of just bursting some gradient onto the gray background and uh, causing a bit of gradation on, on the background. Then in post, what I did here was the, the background uh, that you see, if you sort of look past the flare and the, and, and the stuff, you'll almost like see these very sort of faint lines that were there. So what I, what I have done, I've sort of taken a couple of shots of, um, just a gel projection onto a gray background and onto a black background and I use those backgrounds just to drop in um, if I if I want to sort of create an interesting look uh, behind behind the model so in post what I did was I dropped the background in I adjusted the hue slightly so I could get that color uh, color match that I wanted and then literally just had it as a blending mode. I'm sure it was overlay. And then literally just created a layer and just painted it off, off the actual model itself. And then added in a on the rendering side some lens flare. Um, as you can see coming from the, coming from the top side there. Um, just to create a bit of... Uh, interest from the one side uh, and then fading out to, towards the, the right side there. So I think that's about it. I mean the, the look and feel of the image we were very happy. The model was very happy with it. Um, it's, we sort of started out on the shoot where I wanted to get that rebel type female look. Uh, we did a few different looks but this is the one that I was sort of have mainly in, in mind. Um, and I have a couple of different versions of different images that we shot with different lighting setups uh, but this one everyone sort of did start asking uh, about it so um, I thought I would just share on that on a little short video um, but uh, going forward I think uh, we are busy in the planning stage of doing um, Doing recorded shoots, so literally when we bring the models in, uh, what we'll do is we'll actually 
record the shoot but not just of me taking pictures what I'm going to do is actually show you what we have in mind um, how I'm going to light it so I'll show you how uh, sort of not a wrong way but the way that it's not going to work for for what I want to the way that it's actually perfect for what we want to shoot so it's almost like a wrong and a right way of lighting um, or the best way of lighting the actual um, model for the for the shoot and then also we'll start doing as I mentioned before in earlier videos we'll start doing sort of ad hoc type stuff where all of a sudden we'll just uh, say right here's a piece of material get creative what what can we do from that and uh, see how it comes out because it'll literally be winging the shoot as, as they say and let's see what what uh, creative sort of uh, flow we can get out of that and then hopefully if all that goes well then we can start doing looking at getting some um, live shoots done on YouTube and on Facebook live but uh, as I said that'll be uh, future we're going to start doing some recordings first and getting that out uh, for you guys um, as I said earlier we use the AD300 Pros if you are looking to get hold of any of the Godox lighting um, you can just basically go to godox.co.za and uh, you can use my code which is um, on the side here so you can actually use my code which is godoxcarlD the website is https and www.godox.co.za um, I think that's about it anything else or any other images that you see of ours that you want to find out how we did it um, just drop me a message um, on social media or whatsapp if you got me on whatsapp and we'll be happy if there's enough interest we'll do a, a, a video explaining how we shot it how we lit it and everything else if you need to know just ask um, as well as any Godox products just ask um, we're here uh, well I'm here to to sort of answer any questions you may have or give you any advice uh, for what you are needing thanks again guys and we'll see you online soon thanks for watching